So here we are at the infotainment screen. Uh, just to make sure you're there, just hit the home button. And these three sections will show up, your navigation, your media, and your phone. Let's start with the navigation. Tap on the main part and you'll sign in your account, which we can get to later. Otherwise, tap on the main area. Your map comes up with your location. This button here is the north up or direction of travel. We happen to be heading north in this instance. And this button here is going to bring you back to your menu. And this button here is your zoom in and out. And your layer button is right here and you can show traffic two-dimensional satellite imagery or a compass on the right side of the screen. Let's go back by hitting arrow back. Now let's say you want to put a, an address in. So we start here at the main menu. The first button will send you home. The second one is search. And the other one is your destinations you prior, you have, you went to prior. In this case, Let's do an address. Simple address. Hit the green OK button or enter. It'll bring up the options. This is correct. And you hit start. And you're on your way with the turn by turn instructions. Very simple. Then you have a menu that pops up and you can search for another location. Places like a fuel station, food, parking, a bank, etc. Arrow back. Your destinations. You can have your home in there all the time. A set of six favorites. Your recent, and you can even share your location when you're connected with the in-control system. You can edit your location on the way there, or at an a waypoint at that point. Stopping the guidance is right there and it'll go back to the main nav screen with your location. And finally, you can have a commute, which we'll explain at another time. And custom searches are anything you search for prior by name of a location or a person. You can put the name of the person with their address. And that's your basic navigation features. Let's go back home. Media is quite simple. You have your sources here on your left side, and that's simply your Sirius XM radio, your Bluetooth, uh, or any time you put a movie in the USB. And with your, you can do a star by making it a favorite, just like your radio, and this in this case is your satellite radio. This is how you can search for a particular station, channel, whatnot. These circled stars are your quick favorites and we'll show you right now we go back to Hip Hop Nation in this case go to your media and now you're on your Sirius and these are those quick favorites just a real quick at the bottom otherwise your conventional favorites will come up on a favorites list with a regular star this one happens to be on both and your right side screen will just give you reference to your other active screens like your navigation or your phone on this side here in this case and then back home your phone you'll connect to bluetooth just hit that make sure on your phone you're searchable click on it and it'll give you a passcode and they'll both match hit ok and then your bluetooth will be active back home again the bottom ones here these are your quick buttons straight to nav phone or music your seats for your temperature will be choose your temperature high or low in this case it's not on and you can bring the temperature high or low heated or cooled seats down here are your cameras depending on your configuration you can choose what view up on the left side will tell you what views are possible front side rear etc parking sensors on or off we're parked so it's not gonna be activated and finally your general settings are here and they're pretty self-evident. Your display can be automatic or darkened. Your map theme can be lit or dark. Brightness can be manually overridden here. So 
it's getting brighter or darker. And your home settings can be this main screen with wallpaper choices in the background. General settings are that one, which are gonna be time and date display, very simple, just up and down. When you get there, tap on it, and you can change them there. Display off is there or here on your main screen. Let's go back to the settings, walk you through it, all settings. We did that, features. This is where you customize your home, your navigation, your media. These are samples of how you'd like to modify each particular section of the vehicle. Connectivity is very important. Your Bluetooth was set up already in the mode I showed you earlier. Your mobile data is simply connecting the vehicle to the internet once you have your SIM card in. And then once that's selected, you can make the car a hotspot for your guests that have up to eight devices. Or if you're outside or wanna use your phone for that, you can turn this on and use your phone as a hotspot for the whole car and then it's specific to Apple or Android phones as well. And there's a software update, you would hit it here and the car will update this way when you're connected anywhere. And this one, in this case, it's up to date.